In this video, I want to show you that if you have a function and you know that it's differentiable at a point, then it's also continuous at that point. So the theorem says if f of x is differentiable at a point x equals x naught, then it is also continuous at a point x equals x naught. So what are we given? And we need to think about what's given and what we have to show when we're doing a proof. So we're given that f of x is differentiable at x equals x naught. So using our definition of derivative in this formulation, we get the limit as x goes to x naught of f of x minus f of x naught divided by x minus x naught is equal to the derivative at that point x naught or f prime of x naught. And what we must show is that f of s is continuous at x equals x naught. So by the definition of continuity, that would mean that the limit as x approaches x naught of f of x has to be equal to f of x naught. So now we know what's given, and this is what we must show. So since the limit as x goes to x naught of f of x minus f of x naught over x minus x naught is equal to f prime of x naught, we can multiply the left and right hand side of that equation by the limit as x goes to x naught of x minus x naught. That's what I have in the red. Now how does that benefit us? Well, if we cancel the x minus x naught, that limit portion, then the left-hand side, which is now in the blue, becomes a limit as x goes to x naught of f of x minus f of x naught. And that's equal to f prime of x naught times that limit as x goes to x naught of x minus x naught. You see, this has a real benefit because that limit on the right-hand side as x goes to x naught of x minus x naught, it goes to zero. And so we end up with the limit as x goes to x naught of f of x minus f of x naught equals to zero. And we'll get exactly what we need to show just by adding f of x naught to both sides of the equation. And we get that the limit as x goes to x naught of f of x equals f of x naught. So it is true that if the function is differentiable at a point, then it must be continuous at the point. We've shown that. 